Do you sometimes feel a disconnect with younger Catholic writers, speakers, in the way that one might find a disconnect between, between say, whatever our generation is and Generation Z or millennials? Yeah. You know, there's this, sometimes this gap. You're like, I don't know if we're speaking the same language. We're not looking at the world the same. We have totally different histories. Yeah. Do you feel that sometimes? With, yeah, yeah, I do. Um, what Can you think of any... You don't have to give specific names, but are there any kind of examples where you hear yeah, something? Yeah, I mean, the, like, the I fact that you were just talking about a show that I'm not aware of, you know, and if I get around a bunch of uh, young people, I, I was one of those guys, I was I was into rock and roll in the 70s. I, mm -hmm. I interviewed these groups, Kiss and... Super Tramp. And Super Tramp. And, you don't like Super Tramp? Yeah, yeah, they're okay. <laughs> Led Zeppelin. I mean, these are my people. Led, Super Led, Tramp? Led Zeppelin and... Super Tramp, maybe? I saw that Did move. You? move. <laughs> yes. Yes. Final tap? You into his final tap? <laughs> did, did you what? Did you, did you say you interviewed these people? You met them? Yeah. That, my Come job on. My job was to interview rock groups in, in college. I was the editor of the paper. Shut so up. I got backstage pass. My, I, had pictures of, I had pictures of myself with uh, Kiss what? and showed my future and mother-in-law. That's when she wasn't going to let me date Emily. I had pictures of me with Gene Simmons with his tongue out and blood and everything. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and I thought, man, I've arrived. You know, I. And part, is that I the partied, most popular group you you saw? Or? Uh, Kiss? Oh, no, I was with a lot of different groups. Tramp. Did you ever see them? I was with that tramp. Uh huh. Super tramp. She was a super <laughs> tramp. All right, super tramp. Who else? Uh, Kiss. Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin. Kiss. Uh, Hart. Um, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. Elton John. Um, you met Elton John? Uh, I didn't meet him. I was back there, back in, but I did not get to actually go face to face and meet him. Uh, another one was um, uh, Alice Cooper. Wow. You know these were the these were the acts back then, and I don't know why we're talking about that though. My dad was a big Alex Cooper. Alex. 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 <laughs> See, that's speaking of the disconnect. Yeah. Yes, Alex Cooper. What a guy. Yeah. Oh, I know what I was going to say. So, yeah. so that's my vocabulary. Someone says, um, uh, you ever heard of a Steppenwolf? Yes, I actually partied with him. And, you know, American woman. Mm -hmm. And I can say that. I can, I can talk to young people today and say, what do you think of, of uh, Harrison? <clears throat> like, Harrison who? What yeah, do you, I don't know. Yeah. I don't. George. Oh, George Harrison. Yeah. You know who? Did you meet him? No, but okay. I'm just using it as an example. Sure. So I'm. So I'm. I, I yeah, can. Yeah, I can yeah, talk yeah. about these groups. They don't even understand what I'm talking about, and sure. I'm like, you don't understand. Yeah. They were everything, and so then they'll talk about the groups they're listening to, <clears> and I'm like, right. I have no idea who you're Harry talking Styles. about. Styles. Oh. Yeah, uh, the, it, you, you brought up Harry Styles. Uh, I just had a discussion with my daughters last week about Harry Styles. And here I am coming across like an idiot. And I said, did you know that he was a part of One Direction? <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, Dad, just stop. Show yourself out. Just stop. You know? And I said, um, have you seen the way he dresses? And they're like, yeah, that's Harry Styles. And I'm like... So now that's... It's a bit different, isn't it, it girls? Just a little bit weird. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're with Gene Simmons in makeup. Yeah, and they're like, Dad, that's so gross. Yeah. So the, to answer your question in a, in a, um, a serious way, I would say yes. I see. I do, I do. But I want to know. I want to understand. But I don't expect them to think that I'm cool. That's very good. You know, that's that, that's good. a bad place to it's be. A very bad place to uh, be. To have a, you know, a forty-year-old man, yeah, acting, <laughs> <laughs> acting, trying to act like <laughs> someone. He's like, you guys want to go skateboarding? You know, <laughs> who is that crazy? Yeah, that's a great point. Because there are. It's funny you say that. Because I'll sometimes watch people speak on YouTube, and I think, ah, I don't think they're being authentic. I might be wrong, but it. To me, it doesn't ring true. But then I'll see some much older folks just being themselves, and they actually resonate with a lot of people. I think of Ralph yeah. Martin, for example. Yeah. You know, or Christopher West is just being himself. Yeah. I try to be. I try to be myself. I speak to youth. I speak to young people, but I don't pretend to be cool or to be hip or to be informed or anything. I just want to talk to them as a, as a man would talk to people, you know? And take them seriously because mm -hmm. I think more than anything else, they're number one. They're going to smell a rat. They're going to smell a fake. If uh, number one, number two, if you love them, 
and you really speak to them mm -hmm. as an older brother, they sense it, they, re they, they receive it. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Before you go, do us a favor, leave a comment, let us know what you thought of the video, like, and subscribe.